And as we celebrate our country's independence this July 4th, why not add some fun family crafts to your to-do list? Because Jillian Bowman from Michael's has some really great ideas, and they're so simple, even I can do that. You know, I've got to say something. Come over here. Just stand to the side. Look what's coming. She's oh. not going to be independent long. Oh, yeah. It's almost <laughs> over. That's right. Isn't this great? A new baby. When is the baby due? The end of August. Oh, oh, that's good. It'll be a Leo baby. Then. Well, nice and hot, too. All right, show us what we've got for red, white, and blue. Yeah, this holiday weekend, I'm sure lots of people are attending uh, Fourth of July picnics, or maybe you're throwing your own. So we just have some quick and easy ideas on how you can dress up your picnic. Um, it doesn't take too much money. You yes. can get it all at Michael's and craft in just an hour or so and really bring up the elegance of And are these next. little milk bottles, they, they look like milk bottles, but are, are, are these at Michael's? Yes, those are new milk bottles. We love to use them for crafts. Um, I just stuck a flag in there and put a piece of ribbon around Cute. it and that makes a really great centerpiece. And you took these flip flops, which I just love, and tied these yeah, we're actually going to work on that craft All right. here in a second. Um, I just wanted to go through some of the other ideas. You know, plasticware, no one wants to do the dishes at the end of a picnic. So, of course, you're going to use plasticware. But you can really dress it up by just putting a setting in a little paper bag with a piece of ribbon and display them nicely. That is a great idea. It just dresses up your table. And then you can just throw it in the trash when you're done or recycle. Um, and then one thing I love about using crates, I use them in all of my party scapes because it really helps create height and depth for your mm -hmm. tablescape. So on these crates, we just painted the inside and that really just gives it kind of a raw uh, look on the outside. But a dressed up look. But very dressed up. And you know, you can repaint them for different parties and reuse them over and over. And what I love, uh, can I, I don't know if I can show these, but these are wonderful bandana sure. kerchiefs. And they yes. make beautiful napkins. They're in the blue and white and the white and black, and then, of course, the red. And they've just kind of sewn them together for a tablecloth. I love that, and yep. I love what you did to this mason, mason jar. Yeah, mason jars, and another thing we love to craft with because you can reuse them time and you again. You just painted it red and white. Yep, and then add some faux flowers. You can switch those out for each party, too. And you have a good uh, table setting, a nice centerpiece. But uh, the most important detail to any party are your shoes, right? Yes. <laughs> so since it's the 4th of July, and you'll probably be spending some time in the pool in and out chasing the kids around, um, we have this flip-flop craft that's super easy, and we actually did a Mommy and Me version. <gasps> are so you these can make matching ones fabric? for your kiddo. We actually just cut a regular T-shirt. Into just we sell these at Michaels, plain T-shirts. Cut them into one-inch strips. Okay. And then from there, I've already pre-cut some. I cut into little six-inch pieces, and there's a I'm not very straight uh, edge on here. So if you just pull them, they curl up. They do. I love the way. So we, oh, this is like. Oh, that's, that's amazing. That's the fun part to me is just grabbing and, then, and curling them. And then you just tie them onto the shoe. Yep. Just tie them all the way around the edge. In like a knot. Yep, double knot it, and then at the end, they're all rightly. You can give them a nice little trim to trim them trim up. Trim them up so you don't trip on them. Right. This is, oh, I could get into this. They're easy to make, cost probably under $5 to make. For the whole thing, the T-shirt you've got, or the flip, no, you have to buy those separately. Well, we sell the flip-flops at you, Michael's as well. Listen, and Michael in the little kiddo will version. sell anything you, you want. They've got it. <laughs> Children, dogs. They've got all kinds of things. Yeah, we have all kinds of project ideas <laughs> on our website, and on, we also have a patriotic Pinterest board if you're interested in checking that out. You still have time to make your picnic great. And you still have time to let us know when that baby comes so we can <laughs> be say a prayer of blessing for you and that child. Thank you. To get more details on these fun family crafts, click on the broadcasttv.com, click and check out today's links. When we come back, we've got a great travel workout for you from our broadcast fitness expert. Stick around. It's time.